get Carol a power band here. I already got mine. <laughs> you got your power band now? Red Daisy! She's my favorite. <laughs> well, orange and yellow are my favorite colors, and of course I'm a redhead, so I gotta go with the redhead character. <laughs> So we are day two at Universal Hollywood. Oh, is it Universal Hollywood Studios? I don't, I don't know. Or is it Universal, Universal, Studi Universal, <laughs> Universal Studios, Studios Hollywood. Hollywood? We had a great day yesterday. We got a bunch of B-roll. Um, just did all the things. We had express passes, so we did all the things. We just got our power bands. <laughs> but yeah, going to day two. Excited. We're gonna do a Toadstools Cafe. I think it's called. Yeah. Because we didn't we didn't have a chance to do that yesterday. And the entrance, we're finally here. It's about, I keep on thinking this is my watch. It's about, what, 9.30ish? Yeah. We have a reservation for Toadstool at 10.40. So we're trying to decide if we want to go to Super Mario World or maybe go to, maybe Wizarding World to, because we haven't gone to the main queue of um, Vid and Journey yet. So we want to see what their castle's like. Yeah. See if it's any different. So um, either Wizarding World or Super Mario World. So we decided, Hogsmeade. <laughs> Just seems like something's missing over there. Oh, it's a dragon. I love that one. It's so crazy just seeing how not, it's still fairly crowded, but it's just nowhere near as crowded as uh, Orlando. We just did a Forbidden Journey. Q was not at all different. The, there's certain parts of the uh, ride that are different, but it's it's slightly different. Yeah, it's slightly. Still a good ride. Yeah, there's like more Dementors. Feels like you get a little bit closer to the sides. Yeah, you get closer to the spiders. Still fun. Still uh, excited to do it again. Maybe later on tonight when we're doing HHN. Here's their little crusty world. Which Carol's not a big Simpsons fan, and we're not a big fan of the Simpsons ride, so I don't think gonna I, we're gonna skip that this this time. Right, so we're on our way to Super Nintendo World. We got about 40 minutes until our reservation, so we might try and do the mummy here. Their mummy is slightly different, or it's completely different than the yeah, than the one in Orlando, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, but um, so we're either gonna try and do that if it's too long to wait, we'll just go to Super Nintendo World and kind of uh, walk around and use our power bands. So far from our visit here, I'm thinking this is probably a, you could probably do everything in a day because we did everything yesterday with just an express pass and we had to be out of the park by five o'clock before HHN. So I would think it's totally doable in a day. Without express pass, I'm not sure, but yeah. you'd be able to get most things done. Yeah, I think this is at least a two day visit like we're doing right now because you get to do everything your first day and then anything you want to come back and do, bam, you get to do it again.
all this morning we did Super Mario stuff. We uh, we were able to get a reservation at 10:45 for Code Schools Cafe, which is great because the sign outside said they were like just completely booked for the day. So, it's a good thing I grabbed it like first thing when we walked into the uh, park. So uh, um, we got we got the garlic knots, which oh, look like little mushrooms. Those were super good. Parmesan cheese and parsley and marinara sauce mm -hmm. to dip. So I wasn't. I didn't have high hopes for them, but they were. The the only thing I wish they were a little bit hotter, or because they were just kind of room temperature, but they were still amazing. They were so warm yeah. though. Like, he loves yeah. hot food. I, I like room temperature, so for me it looks great. We were going to get the Bowser's Challenge, but the um, the cashier told us. It was a very spicy. Yeah, it was spicy. They said it's the most returned plate that they have. Plus, it was like a one pound meatball so we we opted for the lesser fireball spaghetti yeah. something like that I'll, have to, uh, I'll put the text right over here uh, but that was good the it did have a slight like what she said a slow burn to it a little kick. yeah just like a little kick but it was, it was super good the meatballs were good the sauce was good everything was good on that it came with uh, I think mushrooms and meatballs and it's a pretty yeah. your typical like spaghetti and meatballs it was good. And then we got, what else? We got the, and um, we got the Princess Peach cupcake, Oh yeah. Which was like a, a Funfetti, oh, funfetti. Cupcake, cupcake with pink icing. And then in the middle was like a raspberry jelly filling or maybe not raspberry, it might have been cherry. I'm not sure. But um, it was super yeah, good. Okay. The last thing we got was the, oh, what was the, it had, it was a like lemon fizzy boba tea. <laughs> I don't remember the name of the other name of it. It was it was like a superstar superstar lemon it something. It almost tasted like a sprite yes. mixed with lemonade, mixed with tropical flavored boba. Oh, it was really good. It was delicious. I would get that. Oh yeah, I'm thinking about it right now. I want it. <laughs> but it's super good. Um, we finished the 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 soda really quick, and then um, I just feasted on the boba. It's kind of like. Yeah. Ate the boba because it was a lot. It's probably like half boba yeah. and half drink and ice. But, but um, it was super good. Can't wait for Epic Universe to open because of that. Yeah. <laughs> and also, we kind of like spent the rest of the morning there just kind of going around. We did Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge, and um, that's a fun. That's a fun ride. Yeah. Um, I was not impressed with like the first ride, like when it first opened. People like posting POVs of the ride. It's because you don't have the you have a visor on the that's where all the display is and everything's happening so that's the main part of the ride it so. looks really boring if you're just watching a pov video but if you're actually riding it it's actually really fun oh, Once yeah. you get, and even yesterday it wasn't as fun because the points i earned didn't really mean anything once we got our wristbands, all the points get added to your account and it earns you can earn keys and other stickers and prizes and things like that That was the other thing is we went around Super Mario Land or World just like getting collecting all the things that we like coins and keys and whatnot we did. Yeah, there was little activities. Yes. Like, uh, you have to stand in line for these little activities, but if you if you were able to do them and completely complete them, um, you got to you got to scan your bracelet and then you get a key. So if you earn three keys, you got special entry into this. Um, a little interactive game. Yeah, a little interactive game where, I don't know, I can't describe it. It's, you're, you're it's, punching. If you ever played Mario Party, it's kind of like a Mario Party mini game. Yeah. So, but basically like, you know, you have, you have your shadow on the screen and then you're punching with your wristband arm, you like punch things that are like falling down and ducking. And I never ducked because I'm so tall. So I never I ducked either. I kept, I kept. <laughs> but I got like third place, so I'm happy with that. I don't remember what I got, but it was just fun. It was it was uh, completely unexpected because we walked in after getting the three keys. We walked into that special area not knowing what it was. Yep. <laughs> we just knew that you had to have three keys to get into it, and uh, so it was a fun surprise. So yeah. glad we did it. So yeah, Super Mario World, super fun time. Um, can't wait to come back and do it all over again. <laughs>
filmmakers different options for city settings, all within just a few acres of land, four acres to be exact. Uh, one section is themed to look like New York, which we'll see in a moment. House, we're going to see one of the largest sets in movie history from the film War of the Worlds, directed by Steven Spielberg. This is called The Crash Set. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision of Steven. We sit down, we sit down and talk about War of the Worlds. I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? have what's going on for production of the day we're visiting don't miss oh, okay the voice uh, we totally talked about the backlog tour the mummy <laughs> and jurassic world we promise we did uh backlog tour it's amazing do it again jurassic world that's also very really different. very different and uh the mummy, mummy also similar similar but very different very different but um it's just about we that's the that's the summary we recording the whole time <laughs> we were recording just to think our uh our camera froze but now we're going to do the secret life of pets because it's one of our favorite kind of kid rights here you get to be a little pup and get adopted out looking forward to that so but we're gonna keep on going and uh, maybe talk some more if not then We'll see you at HHN. Enjoy the rest of this video. Oh, my That's me. That's you. That's the pet suit. Now, I made it my personal mission to get all of you straight puppy dogs docked. And I will not let you down. And then I'm going to frame this. Because this is real fun. Now, keep going this way. We're going to sneak through the building storage area. If anyone discovers you, Puppy dogs. <laughs> 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 Some of us get boxes, some of us get super cool, high-tech drugs. Oh, I feel cute looking though. <laughs> okay, good one, guys. Let me go. Go, 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 go. Ha 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 
We did forget to mention that we did do the um, Waterworld show, which was amazing. Right here. Yes. Yes. Just, just the stuntmen, all the um, water. It's so, it was so funny to see them just like splash water on the. Uh, well, they, they were suspecting because they were sitting in the green area, but uh, in the splash zone. But it was so great. Would recommend. So, we're going to end this video here. Got to watch out where I'm walking. But we had a great time. We did Bowser again. That was fun. Carol and I both lost. First time we've lost on our we team. Lose. We our, had the high score. Our team did our not pull team through. As a whole did not do much. It was a team effort. But we've been having a great time. The Telegram tour is always great. We're going to put some B roll of that in here. Uh, we talked about it, but unfortunately, that footage is now lost. Uh, the Harry Potter area it's nice seems bigger but i think it's just because there's some parts that are missing yeah, yeah. um yeah, we, we can't wait to come back and do this all over again it probably will be it'll probably be a longer wait um that's when we'll get back out here great okay, thank you for watching and just remember take your vitamins Woo. oh yeah and like and subscribe <laughs>